All right, on the top side, we've got Elodie being played by Sky, Resposo playing Ryota in the red, so they're taking this to end memo. So are they gonna open correctly? Let's see. Okay. Correct so far. How much do you wanna wager that uh, it's gonna be new? Okay, Resposo is in all of it correctly. Uh, yep, so it's Karo. Okay, correct openings on both sides. Crazy. Air Trooper coming <laughs> out. The Air Trooper is fine. I think it's more of an adaptation. Okay. Though. Like, I don't think you do it every time. I think you do it when your opponent makes a mistake, which Resposo hasn't made yet. So I don't think it's the optimal move, but... Uh, but it's still okay. It just super delays your night. I mean, Trooper does have the benefit of moving around a lot of this terrain, like, um, really well, which I think on this map is actually, like, you'd argue it's a little more useful than it is on some of the more open maps. Yeah, the thing with In Memoriam is that getting to develop is hard. There is a lot of terrain near production, but after you develop, uh, then the terrain gets a lot, uh... A lot, a lot less cars, yeah. Yeah, once you get the lines going. Let's look for this nice little yoink. It's kind of nice. Okay, so at some point, while well, we were talking about the trooper, I suppose it slipped up, and now the trooper actually looking is actually looking good. And I guess it makes sense to try and yoink against like Ryota, who's like all about trying to get an early advantage. And if you can just like grab one of the villages early, that kind of negates that to some degree. Where you know all of a sudden he has to like respond to this village, you know, take that down. But yeah, trooper can always yoink that village, but usually I feel like you have two swords ready to kill it in return, so it actually can't. Right. Yeah, uh, but now only one sword was able to punish, so the yoink was fine. Still didn't get that much. But Skyro is a head on for a bit. Like he's also like cleaning up his side very quickly. Yeah. Hear my song. Old positioning there, but it's fine. Yeah, no, there's nothing there to challenge. Yeah, and Elodie's actually gonna have Groove. Pretty much whenever she wants, because uh, just like one more hit will do it. Ah, uh, fake groove though. Tier 1 isn't the real groove. <laughs> it does have some cool options though. Like if your opponent goes Harpy, you can kill the Harpy on a mage. It's too expensive for that though. Like, you're basically like worse Wolfer at more price. You'd rather just wait for the tier 2 and try to join something completely. Which is exactly why they should buff the groove charge on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or <laughs> yeah, they should really buff it, or they should yeah. just. I think I personally think it should be fast, but that's also with the stipulation that tier two still is a late game tier two, which it is. But you know, it needs to come come. It needs to be like a oh, Elodie can't find good grooves, so she's just gonna wait off on it, right? But yeah, Elodie is pretty good if you have a massive advantage, though. <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like any CO is pretty good if you have a massive advantage, especially like Merciful. Yeah, yeah, the joke is that yeah, she has a massive advantage right now. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, we're talking about COs all this time, it doesn't matter. Skyro is very winning, just like Acorn wise. And the pike wall is coming down. Yeah. That's a lot of tip units everywhere. Not an LOD map, this one. I guess the idea is like, if your opponent did go a heavy unit to try and break your formation, like you just punish it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Like, I don't know. You really only buy dragon here, I would say. Yeah, I guess you do buy dragon. Dragon can stay out of either of this range, though. Yeah. And then... Um, I mean, technically, golem can too. It's just a lot slower at it. Terrain dependent. Yeah, it'll take 20 billion turns to get out so you don't build golem here. And then, like, if you do build, it feels so hard trying to keep it out of all of this range. Like, you can do it, but can you do it while also getting decent value from it? That's a lot harder. Hard. Yep. Yeah. Whereas, you know, dragon front switches on a dime. Yeah. <clears throat> This golem is nice in this kind of circumstance though, where like LED is like basically trapped over on the right hand side. Well, it's just a balloon though, that's the thing. I mean, it's also nice because uh, pike wall. <laughs> you want to be punching the pikes with the, the golem. I see golem coming out left hand sides. Exactly what I expected. Yeah, so LED should like front switch and be there by the time golem is there. Yeah, she doesn't want to get separated anyways, so she needs to back up. Bunch of witches by Skyro, though. I don't understand this. Like, I don't I see any dragons. I wonder if they uh, they want to trade witch for witch. No. Santa's no. Yeah, I guess, like, the idea is it's maybe, like, anti Ryota tech, where like Ryota can't go deep anymore. You're just fishing no, for double hex. That point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that's good enough to buy a witch. I suppose it's spamming golems now. If you wanted to do that, you buy archer this turn, because you have time. Hell, last time we saw Ryota do like a really really well on this map they even hit the witch so even witches aren't safe this really is the bike spam moment wow mm. Mm. just vaguely like... place your spike ball in the direction of your enemies and prompt it i suppose they're building yet more golems i wonder if we're gonna see another one this turn yeah lot isn't like rushing to defend against the golems, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this. Like, she should try to be there before the golem can flip the seven. Very slow positional game from both players. Garo just keeps seeding ground. Alright, he's gonna go in now, though. We're gonna see a couple units getting picked up. Some one village back in the favor and just playing a very slow defensive game. Really just wants LOD to get still to staying here. there. Yeah, just decided not to go against the golems. She just seems like a strange decision. I guess he wants to be here for the big army fight, which is fair, but like she can do more on the other side. Well, yeah, just preventing all this golem pushing. She really needs to get to the other side. Oh, sure too. A nice little bit of damage. Blows down the front switch, which I guess is like the big thing. Ooh, especially with that balloon going down. I'm not sure about that tier too. A bunch of units will die. Like, two dogs and a mage kill the bike and the balloon. All three will die. Yeah, that's a bunch of free dudes. I guess like the idea here is that you just pressure strongholds. All this stuff over here is a bit slower. Well, I say that all, like, is this like what, one sword that's been slowed at this point now? Okay, dragon just hops there. Because the other witch doesn't work. Yep, you need mages against the dragon that has a witch to support. And you just lost two mages. That's really rough now. Yeah, and now Elodie is guarding the dragon actually, so anything that hits it is gonna 
actually get snagged. Draw your final breath. That would actually be really funny if you snagged a witch and then triple hexed your opponent's army. I suppose they're... I mean, they're just still doing their thing. I mean, obviously that wasn't the best fight for them, but they're way up on economy right now, so... Yeah, they've been playing the Econ game very well, but uh, unit count is more important. And they've lost too many units. Mm, you probably just type the 4 fourth column here, right? Oh, it doesn't look like he's gonna do that. But yeah, I would pay with some hexes and... And my dragon to get that column. Because then he needs to spend the mage to get my dragon back. And then, you know, I win whatever fight happens. So yeah, the dragon can just type the column there. Wow, and Respond is really just column spamming, which is what you want to do when you have the Econ advantage, but it feels so bad against LOD. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, the idea is you just get so many golems, it doesn't matter if she yoinks one. Yeah, yeah, you do enough damage already before it uh, can do anything. Well, I mean, also, now that Skyro has their own uh, golem, the best strat is to hit your golem into their golem and not even kill it. Like... That way they don't get as much value off of the, um, off the golem. Steel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but Skyro coming back here on this right hand side just keeps pushing forwards. Recognizes that their opponent took a big loss and... Oh, he just wants to go for the HQ, I guess. Probably can, he has like 20 billion pikes. Yeah, and you can force the golems to be in reality if you go for stronghold. Or at least make your opponent be like, oh, I wish I had these units that weren't, like, gonna turn into my opponent's units. I mean, it's not even about the golems, like... LOD can just clear one blocker no matter what it is. It's like, usually you need to have a specific unit to clear a specific type of blocker. It's like... LOD gets to ignore that. LOD is like... The all-in-one unit clearer, I guess. I'm actually a little surprised Respoza didn't get an archer on this map, just because it feels like being able to peck away in a, at an advancing formation would be really strong. And we saw on Skyro's side this archer's gotten a lot of value this game. Are there any knights, though? Yes. Was... On whose side, though? On Skyro's side, to threaten the HQ. I don't see a knight. Uh, I don't see a knight. It's all yeah. infantry and golem and dragon. Yeah, knight would have been pretty good here. Because otherwise you're gonna need like three sides or more than a single turn. And then the, the HQ dive becomes a lot weaker. I mean, it's still gonna work. You have 20 billion bikes. I don't feel like Rasposo has to go in this turn, but maybe not. Maybe, oh, he's gonna bury the golem back a bit. Yeah, so now the strat is to just pike crit the HQ. That's actually the strat. You just pike crit it. Pike crit everything moment, and then heal everything moment? No, no, you just pike crit the HQ, just the HQ. And then you kill it next turn. Yeah, I guess there are a bunch of like heavy hitting units behind this, so... You don't have the night crit, but you do have a golem and a dragon. Nope, he's not going for it. What are they doing? I guess neither of them are like confident about attacking, is like the main thing. Oh, Ballista comes out. Oh lol, I didn't notice. That's, That's funny. actually really frustrating if you've got these two witches. Because yeah, they just can't do this area of the map anymore. Well that I mean... does mean that they're just accepting that they will never <laughs> produce out of here ever again. Yeah, I mean, and, you can build on river and yeah. this beach style. Yeah, but it's significantly slower now. 
Mm, it's worse actually, it's worse for balloons. Yeah, that's the main, main problem. Oh, trooper value, wow. Real. What a play. Okay, we do see an archer now though, at Resposo, so that's actually going to be really useful here. I'm going to be able to use those indirects very effectively. I mean, I, I, at the very least, you can't break Skyro's position here, so... I don't know what you would want to do in this position as Resposo. Oh, he wants to get more golems, I guess, because, you know, Skyro isn't punishing him. <laughs> He's getting away with it. But this bliss is actually probably going to pay for itself if uh, Skyro keeps playing like this, which is really funny. Nah, I don't think it will. I think you just leave that side. And but you yeah. can keep the villages without being in ballista range is the thing. So That's the ballista true. doesn't do much. Well, it protects against two turns, but that's not saying much against this army. Oh, here we go. Grabs a spear? Interesting. Finds spear a crit. Oh, we're gonna see... Oh, is this a... Spear crit on the dog, opens up two sides. Hmm, that's three sides. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, wait, oh, oh, right. I Oh, I thought for a second I thought the the bike was killed to open a third side on the HQ, but no, that happened instead. That's fine. Yeah, you don't have to grab the golem. You can grab anything else if it works tactically. Yep. Yeah, sometimes all you need is a single spear. I mean, I went against Sester like that. Never know. You never know. You never know. Melody, I mean, I'm not going to say she's going to get another tier 1, but you know, it is like a nice chunk of groove that she's building. Okay, big man shield comes in. Yeah, there's no defending mass. This is just too much of a blob. You'd have to kill Elodie. Yeah, you can wipe like the first line of stuff. But then there are three more lines of stuff. LED is super safe. Okay, I guess we're gonna see tier two coming into effect here. All right, picks up the witch. Dragon gonna go down as well. Yeah, you can wipe all this line, but Ooh, it doesn't suicide. do enough. I do what I must. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can kill LED. Rios is tier two as well. Oop, second sword suicide. Yeah, but how do you clear the golem? I am sorry. Right, well, I guess we're gonna see that get figured out. Another hex. Ooh, this is a lot of damage actually. You'll never see me oh coming. wait, can you just kill from one side? Oh, what a wild hex! Okay, night crit is available. Forty-six percent health. Oh, I didn't see this. Holy. Barely lives it. Unfortunate for Sposo. Uh, oh, that's just a very dead Riosa at that point. Yeah, almost killed from one side. One more witch would have done it. Or an archer. Yeah, witch, archer, if the ballista had been a bit closer. <laughs> and the ballista couldn't have been closer. I know, but it's a joke. <laughs> yeah. We can, we, can, we can have dreams, right? Surely yeah. water ballista will be a thing. It's if, if you had the help of Tenry, right? To move the ballista. <laughs> yeah. yeah. True. And air troop for a moment. Doing its best. Yeah, didn't really do that well though, but... Hawk? Yeah, just Golem I think just finishes. Is that actually gonna kill? No, not quite. Riot is gonna get slapped one last time, I guess. Oh, wants to kill oh. low health Elodie? <laughs> Works. Alright, just wanted to kill with the commander. And a very good lethal attempt, I would say, from Resposo. It didn't work out, but it was really close. Yeah, it was cool he... 
uh, he showed us this attempt instead of you know just resigning. I would have probably yeah. just resigned there, for example. <laughs> but instead good of resourcefulness, yeah, yeah, we get to see it. It's good showmanship. Yeah. So yeah, well played both of them. Very back and forth game, very long grindy game as well. Definitely a lot of pike wall action going on there, but. Uh, Skyro does take it, so we'll play the win with Elody, which is uh, something we've seen a decent amount recently, funnily enough. People figuring some Elody stuff out, at least in like the, the mid to low tier brackets. Yeah. I'm telling you, these low tier games are way more fun to watch. I like it more. I like to see the more niche grooves. I mean, it's because we're, we've are we gotten so used to the better ones with the championships and stuff. Maybe, but they're also so powerful. Like they flip, they can flip games really easily. I mean, I, I enjoy seeing more powerful groups more than I enjoy seeing less powerful ones. You know, for obvious reasons. Just, you know, uh, it feels more important when it happens, right? I like but, people squeezing all the juice out of a low, uh, a lower value groove, though. Also, like, with Heavily, for example, it's not that her groove isn't the win button. Like, it's ve it can be very massive, it's just super slow. Yeah, so other like, CEOs beat her before she can use her win button. So, like, it's not that her, her button isn't important enough, it's that, it, uh, okay, the game has taken 20 turns, now she gets to play. Wow. Yeah. Well, anyway, well played, Scarrow takes the game.